friends, Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you my cutest little crown. I was going to do this a little bit closer to Halloween, but with the recent news of the Queen passing, I thought I would bring out my crown a little bit early. It seemed like a good weekend for it. Really simple, really fast. It's only a few rows and it's one size fits all and I'm going to show you how I do that. So let's get started on it. We start out with one of these little guys. You can get these at like the dollar store or at your local Walmart. I have done a little bit of research and found that Queen Elizabeth liked to wear different shades of blue. I picked out a favorite shade of blue of mine, which is Red Heart Super Saver, Delft Blue. It's just a really happy blue. It's fun. And this one was Caron Simply Soft Gold. You can see how easy this is and just a little bit of flexibility. It's a one size fits most, I guess because there could be somebody that it doesn't fit. But this should even fit a child because of the flexibility. So fun for birthday parties, fun for Halloween, fun for just about anything. We start at the bottom and work our way up. So we're gonna start down here. I've got my three and a half tulip out today. 3.5 millimeter, do a slip knot and chain 54 and do them loosely because we're gonna work in those little back bumps. So chain 54. 53 and 54. So there I just have a nice long chain of 54 with my three and a half millimeter. Now we're going to turn our chain over and find these little back bumps. Instead of this, the V's right here, we're going to flip them over and we're going to work a single crochet into each one of those back bumps. So with our 54 chains, we'll end up with 53 single crochets. So go under our little back bump, single crochet. Under the next one, single crochet. And do that all the way down and I will meet you at the other end in just a second. Right, there's 52 and there's my very last one right there 53. So 53 single crochets back down our chain. Very easy peasy. And row two we're going to chain one turn our work and we're going to do 53 double crochets all the way down one in every stitch. There's a double. There's number three and do that all the way down. I'll meet you at the other end. Really super fast and super easy. And here's number 52. And my last double crochet right here. Number 53. So there, now we have this nice little rectangle. Now we get to start working with our little headband. So what I like to do first, you find the side that you want to have showing, because there is a right side and a wrong side, kind of, but it really doesn't matter. I'm going to chain one so that I can continue my work, and then I am going to go through my very first stitch right here, and through the other side. That's why we worked in those back bumps, so that we have a real stitch to work with. You can see right here there's a real stitch instead of just a half a chain. So we're going to go through both sides, pull through, and single crochet. And we're going to do that all the way down, but when I get a couple of them in here, here's a nice second one, get a couple of these in. Now I want to put, now I want to get my one of the ends of my headband in because it's kind of difficult to do that when the whole thing is done. So we want to start now. So there we go. Now he's through and we're just going to work around him. So there's our first stitch on this side. Go over our headband and go through the other side. Pull through and single crochet. We're going to do that all the way down and a little bit of the red is going to show but that part really is not going to matter and you'll see why in just a little bit. But just go on this side, over to the other side and single crochet. Super easy, super fast. Whoops. Super easy and super fast. Singles and double crochets. Really easy. 
So there's that. I'll meet you at the other end when I have this all wrapped. And here's my very last one. This is probably the trickiest one of the bunch because it gets a little bit tighter. But there we go. My last single crochet around my headband. And you can see the red does not really show through. That's why I was using the red, because I made this one with black. You really can't see much. So if you can't find the color that matches your yarn of this little guy, it doesn't matter. So now we are ready for round four. So we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And that counts right here is this first stitch. So we want to count over three more. So not this stitch. That one's already being used, because this counts. So we'll go one, two, three, and in that fourth stitch over, we want to put in five double crochets in that same stitch. So we're just making a little shell. I'm sure everyone has seen the shell stitch before. Pretty simple, pretty basic. Just like that. So there's our chain three. The stitch counts right here and that's held as a double crochet. One, two, three, skipped, and five right here. I'm going to do the same thing again. Skip three. One, two, three. One, two, three. In this fourth stitch right here, we want five double crochets. So we make another shell. One, two, and here's number three. Number four. And number five. So there's our second shell. So we're working right here. Right there. Right above our band. Right here. Alright, so we're going to do shells all the way down. I will meet you right back over here in just a second after I get all of my shell clusters done. So again, that was one, two, three skipped in that fourth stitch. Five double crochet cluster to make a shell. Alright, and here is my last shell. There's my last double crochet and my last shell. There you go. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 shells and still a little bit over here. So we're still going to skip 3. 1, 2, 3. We're going to chain 1 and in our very last stitch and I have it marked right here with this little tiny one. Oh, it's red so you can't see it. There we go. We're going to double crochet. So a chain one and a double crochet in the very last stitch. So now this side and this side are basically the same. Let's we'll pull this out a little bit so we can see all of our shells. So there's the first round. Awesome! So you can see on this one, I'm working up. This one seems to be working out, right? So all we have to do is spin. Just, just a little bit of a turn. And now we're working up. See how quick that was to fix. So instead of it being like a big, big flower all the way around, now we're working up. So that's so simple. That was round four. Round five is very simple also. Round five is this part right here. Working this part right up in here. This is our next row. And that will be a double crochet fives together. So I will show you how we want to do that. So first of all, we're going to chain three and turn our work. Every one of these little guys our five double crochets that are making our shell down at the bottom, we are going to double crochet them all together. So go into the first one, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through one more. So we have two loops on our hook. And do that again in the next one. Go through our stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through one more. Now I have three loops on my hook. Do it again, yarn over, go through our stitch, 
yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through one. Four loops on my stitch, or thir four loops on my hook. Do it again. Pull through two and pull through one. And one more time. Yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through one. Now I have six loops on my hook. So I want to pull through all of them. And now I'm going to close this with a chains of five. So we'll chain five. One, two, three, four, five. So now we have this little poof right here. We're going to do then the top of each one of these. So after our chain five, we're going to do that exact same thing again. So we yarn over, pull through two, and then pull through one more. Do that again in the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, and pull through one more. Again. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through one. And over, pull through two, pull through one, until you have six loops on your hook. Then you know you've gotten all of your stitches. Pull through two and pull through one, and now I have six loops on my hook. Six loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through everybody, and chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And I'll repeat that for every one of these clusters, all twelve and I will meet you at the other end. And here I'm finishing my very last, finishing my very last cluster here. And now this one works just a little bit differently because we're at the end. So we have our six loops on our hook. We're going to pull through everything just like we had on all the others, but we're only going to chain one just to close this off. And then we're going to double crochet into our chain over here. Double crochet into our chain. There we go. So what we just did was a little bit of a play on a Catherine's wheel or the Harlequin stitch or several other ones like that. But we're doing the fan on the bottom and then closing it on the top so we've made kind of a diamond look. Hooray! We're almost done. This is fun. All right, round six. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. And we're going to turn our work. This counts as a double crochet. You know, I don't usually do that, but that's the way it's going to work this time. And in this very same stitch, the very, very, very first stitch, we're going to put two more double crochets. So there I have three, chain three, one, two, three, and then in our same stitch again, we'll do another cluster of three double crochets. One, two, and three. So in our very, very, very first stitch right here, we have a chain three, which counts as a double crochet, two doubles, chain three, and three doubles. We're working right here now, this round right here, or I guess it's a row. We are going to do that same little cluster in every chain space. So here's my chain five space, three double crochet, one, two, and three, chain three, and in that same chain space, three more doubles. One, two, and three. So we're getting a point. We're going to get a point in each one of these. So now we just want to do that all the way back around to the other end. And I will meet you when I have all of my little clusters done. All right, I'm almost done with this row. But we want to have, just like at the beginning here, we have this one that's kind of poofing out. So we want to do another cluster in our chain three space right here. 
another one of those. So we're going to put in three double crochets. One, two, and three. And our chain three. One, two, three. And three more double crochet. One, two, and three. So now I have a point on this side and a point just like it on the other side. And all of these are pointy. Starting to look like a crown. We're almost finished. Just right here like this. And it's the gold one. All right, so that was row six. We want to do row seven, which is chain one. Turn our work. And this is the easiest part of them all. We want one single crochet in every stitch. And if you, when you hit a chain three space, three single crochets. So here we go, single crochet, one, two, and three. And now I'm into a chain space, so I'm going to put three singles into that chain space. And then our next cluster, one single crochet, two, three, and then there's our next cluster. One, two, three. And I made it to a chain space so it gets three. Continue that sequence all the way around. And I'll meet you on the other side in just a second. And here's my last point. So three single crochets in that point. And don't forget to do these last three on the other side of your point. Three more single crochets. One and two and one of them will be in the chain. Just like that. So there's our crown. We are almost done. That was round seven. At this point, we can finish off this little part right here because we are done with the big part of the crown. Now we're just going to do a little part right in here, just a tiny part. Leave that long enough that you can get it wound in or sewn in or weaved in, however you wish to do it. So now we're going to look at our crown, twist everything so that it's pointing up and decide which side you like best. Is that the side you want to look at or is that the side you want to look at? I'm going to spin it. I'm going to spin it the other way. There. Now we're just going to find the center point. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen of these. So we want number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. This guy right here is our center front. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six points on either side of this one. We're going to still use our blue, of course, and we want to move over two clusters. So here we are in the middle, right here. When this, there's a cluster of three right here and a cluster of three right here. We want to start in this guy right here. The third one over right in here. And fasten on my yarn. And single crochet one, single crochet two, and single crochet three. Now we're going to chain five. Three, four, five. Skip over to this very center stitch, totally the very center stitch. So it would be the middle one of the three single crochets that were in this point. And in that we are going to do five double crochets just like we did in the other round towards the bottom to make another shell. Three. 
four, and five. can take my marker out. We're going to make this symmetrical so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then jump over. There's, there's a cluster here and a cluster here. We want to make sure that we're on top of those clusters. Of the furthest one over. So we're going to single crochet three times. One, two, and three. So now we have this little, we're starting on this little bobble and it's almost done. Just a little bobble on the top. Right there. This is round nine, so we're going to chain one, turn our work, single crochet in those three again. One, two, and three, five single crochets in our chain five space. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to do a double crochet five together just like we did down here. So it's a yarn over to make the top of this little diamond. Yarn over in your hook, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through one. And do that for all of these until you have six loops on your hook, just like we did before. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through one, six loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through everything. We'll chain one to close this. So now we just closed our little diamond just like we did at the bottoms and jump right over here to our chain five space and five single crochets. One, two, three, four, whoopsie, four, and five. And single crochet in our very last three right here. One, two, and three. So now we have our little poof right here. And we can finish this off also. Just leave it long enough that you can weave it in in a little bit. All right, so we have a couple of ends to weave in. But the last thing we're going to do here, take your point and put it over. Take your point and put it over so it looks just like this. Pulls it all in a little bit more so it'll stand up straighter. You just have to weave in some ends and voila, you are done with your crown. And this one is just pretty. I love this blue. This is a great blue. So here we go, put back on my head. So there you go, perfect for parties, for Halloween, or anytime your little princess needs a new crown. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimble Hooks and stop back soon. I've got some really fun stuff coming up. Thanks. Bye.